Oh, we can't have Conrad actually have a chance at winning. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Let's just crash on him because fuck him. She's on ahead. No, the ironic thing is, is whenever you battle Faye, the Pokemon she she found she found or taint aren't really that far. Like, let's take an extra joke for example. I know for a fact when I last battled her, her Excadrill wasn't a shack. But now it is. You know what? That's it, I'm looking up Tailwind. There has to be a reason why she sets up that move. And I'm looking it up. Oh! Oh, you thought I was gonna play them reindeer games! Okay. That explains why your Pokemon have somehow gotten that magic increase in speed. Or how your scissor was able to beat my Pokemon in the speed category. I see. I see now. So you know what I'm gonna do? Endeavor. I ain't even going to give you. Alright, Hans Girl. Break up, handle it. Because here's the thing we need to make sure she has no more Pokemon left after this. If Gardevoir comes out, then we gotta use the first strategy on him. Next Pokemon. 
I remember correctly. More is going to be needed for that one. Keep an eye, she still has four more. Four Pokemon. Pokemon. So to those wondering, what do I mean by, by we still, that we need, that we need Mori for the next one. Sabrina will go down, I know it. She can't survive that attack. Sorry you had to take that hit, Sabrina. Which... Moxie. What if the stack's been double? But Ariel's power has been increased. No, imagine, imagine if since I went with the t went, imagine if this was. Uh, I, I'm trying to think. Pause. Think something else other than this right now. Close combat. Almost get the beat with that one. Not gonna lie. Yeah, it's a good drill. That's when Mari comes in. You see, that's Mari, although not as fast as Excadrill. Oh, now it has Moonbreaker. I think the stats might be randomized for these Pokemon sometimes. Like, they're not set on a specific number. Oh. Oh. Mari, you, 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 you. What? Stolen, I forgot. It feels like it's been months. But in reality, it's just been fucking hours. I'm panicking right now. I don't even fucking know why. I think my breathing might be sporadic right now. Aqua Jet. I'll take that flame body with pride. So which one will it be? Gardevoir or Excadrill? Then I ain't switching out for shit. Remember, I still got one Aqua Jet left in the chamber. That's all I need. Good job, Arya. You deserve you and everyone deserve a long rest after this. I'm switching out. Now it's time to put the actual plan into motion. What is that plan? It's Project Drain Focus Blast. I don't care. I'm making sure till I know for goddamn sure that that focus blast. That's ain't coming back to bite me in the ass. Focus Slash has a number charge. Charge of five. 
So that's what I plan to do. Continually revive till I... It's all gone. Arrow. Please survive it. Thank you, my friend. I can't fully re revive Lucario. That'd be a waste of a turn. So instead, I'll revive Sabrina. Is the AI on to my strategy? No. I'm just panicking. Rico, go! Even if it doesn't, doesn't the AI make a logical decision that should that focus blast on the Lucario will be the most logical strategy. Hey, what? Why is it going for those moves? Focus blast, damn it! One focus blast has been used. Two focus blasts have been used. Aqua Jet. Hyper voice. Why? Use focus blast. Come on. Three. Three focus blasts have been used. after it won't be enough Mori I'll bring back Mori four focus last have been yes Oh, 
hold on, please, Mari. I'm sorry. It didn't even matter. Sixty five. The chance of me hitting Smart Strike Strike and KOing her Pokemon are zero. She'll outspeed and win. Holy shit, you missed the luck the bug is last! Come on! <gasps> yes! Oh my fucking god! Oh, huh? almost. Fuck you! <laughs> oh, oh, god. Oh, god. Oh, oh, thank god. I fucking rip. I fucking fucking stop that rip. Oh, oh. I'll take that 4,000 fight. I think we're new Pokemon. I fucking hate you. You went back from the nice category to the hate category. What do you like that? With your shit. Shit lady. Hey, what the crap? Oh, I'm nice to get a kind of deal. Bullshit, little woman. You're a goddamn good fucking trainer. Don't you dare fucking lie to yourself with that crap. Uh, 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 you, you guys know I'm uploading that. I have over a two hour one, one that shows all the pain I had to go through. Oh god. Oh god. Why? Why? Developers, please tell me why. Why did you make fate this strong? And if she isn't this strong, then please tell me. How come I'm the only one who has has to put hours of pain and suffering into beating her? Please, someone tell me. For my sanity, please, someone tell me. I want to know why. It's still dark out. It's. It's 5.07 a.m. Oh, God. I want to make it clear. I've been up all night doing this, recording, making videos. And this is the one, and this way that I made so fucking long. Oh, my God. I pray to God I never, I pray to God I wouldn't have to fight Faye again. Why? If this was a Nuzlocke, I'd die, I would have failed over too many times. I'm not allowed to say who I got it from, but I think you'll meet them really soon as well. You got Pokemon for somebody when you want you tell me who? Hey, I just... Anywho, you shouldn't keep silent. Wait, wait, hold up. You got it from, you got Pokemon from somebody, but they won't tell you who that somebody is. Okay. No, no. Real talk time, guys. If it's the professor, then he's showing too much favoritism. How come I don't get any new, new powerhouse Pokemans? Man, I'm the favorite of the- I'm the best, I'm the most skilled trainer out of the crew. Shouldn't I get some special treatment? Like I get 20 megas? I'm saying this because you got megas. Anyway. We need to go to the Pokemon Center. She said uh, we'll meet them soon, and I fucking hate the fact that Faye got this, got this vocal, got a vocal Rona, and she won't even tell me who gave it to her. Hey, you know where Ace is? Ace is here. Go find him or something. <sighs> wow. So when Ace was, Ace was chewing Rika out about not usurping her duties, says so a gym leader. Clear. He decides it's okay if he does it. Cover range. Excuse extension. Oh shit, really? Cool. I'm not even going to the Mart until I heal my fucking Pokemon. Scarlet! Uh, there you are. <laughs> what time you showed up? Faye's already inside. Let's go. We got a lot of talk about. Don't fucking talk to me about that. Not Oh, hell no. Huh. Yeah. 
Really? Because I want to boost all my Pokemon speed stats. Why? So that way I can crush everyone's hope, my opponent's hopes and dreams. Uh, uh, hey guys. No! Because this means I have to continue on with the story. And we all know I'm not done, I'm not fully ready yet. Because first! Oh, 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 first. See this? See this Bulbasaur? Here. Why is it that I'm now putting this Bulbasaur in my party? Because I realized something. If I don't have three main, the first three elements, fire, water, grass, in my type coverage, I'm not gonna win. And I've also realized something. If I don't get a fucking Mega soon, I'm not gonna win. Damn it! You know what? Fuck it, we're not gonna do the main thing today. I mean, not now, now, but we're gonna explore. Because after all we went through, I'm pretty sure exploration was something I deserve. Oh, so easy to fight. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, there's one reason why they're called the Zombie. Because they're. Oh! That's why! Oh man, I feel bad. No, I don't. They were annoying. They deserved it. I was about to say I feel bad, but not after dealing with their annoyance. Annoyance, I was just like, nah. An egg. Now let's get rid of a Pokemon that's alright. That's. Oh no, I don't want to get rid of mine. But I don't want to get a Varia either, nor anyone of my other teammates. You know what? Let me just go here. Um, let me just go. Get my organized. Um, uh, sorry, Mari, but I said I had to move you out of my box. It's better give me a broken, powerful OP Pokemon that, oh, come on, that has got to your stats. That's... You know what? If it gives me a Gibble, that'd be fucking awesome. Or, or a Larvate. Yeah, you know, just any pseudo-legendary would be good right now, please. I, I just want a pseudo legendary. <laughs> sure. Togepi. Hey, by any chance is your grandson named Gold? I just want to cancel. Ah, uh, I didn't play it. I played it was Go, which was that racing car game. Let me put this guy out of here. Hmm. 
gave you an extremely useless items, or or even a Pokemon game where people gave you useless Pokemon, you like like you like that stuff happens way too often. Like, who honestly wants to use a Spritzy, especially after having to hatch an egg for one? Just a straight waste of time for a Pokemon that never got going to get used. Well, I mean, there's always. I mean, every Pokemon Pokemon has its uses. Uses in this world, it's just how you know how to use them. I know how to use strong, hard-hitting Pokemon, Pokemon that Pokemon along with some speed types, but there are some Pokemon that I just don't know how to use. Because I'm... Because I'm just that. Oh wow, I wish I could use that, use that move to calm my fucking sanity. Oh. I bet we'll meet a bunch of wise people. Oh, eggs! All right, Milo. Oh, I'll call you back. Got some people to take care of. Just heard from Milo. Old school sandwich to me. So that means a lot. Scarlet also told me about the run of the other team blind net, all that shit. Hopefully you guys see that girl beat to the ground. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll finish up what I'm doing here. I'm gonna go check out the city in the meantime. Get everything you need get done before you come down. I'll be waiting. Catch you later. So Ace comes for a timer now? Wow, despite that guy's crude tongue. Well, I guess you can never judge a p's cover. He's a dude who cares very deeply about how this friend his own friend and actually came constantly seeing me constantly to look after him Really does show that this dude is a nice guy. <laughs> Whoops! Well, I guess I put it off long enough. But let's put it off even more because fuck it. Fuck it, Faye put. Wow, I guess that me guess him having a bad mouth for you being a good person. You talk so much shit, yeah, everyone seems to love him. True, he does have a foul mouth. mouth but I don't know. The fact that he's willing to go out to a whole nother region to help out his friend friend and give him a good old give him a good old smack of reality is a good thing. Sure, he should really fix that potty mouth of this. But then again, I swear, or swear on a daily basis. Well, in video. In real life, I don't that much. I, just don't, I only do it when I'm really fucking pissed. Piss. Seriously. You'd be surprised on how how much it piss, how much it takes to actually piss me off. And especially if someone pulls the whole Heidi Mighty stick stuck on me. It really, really annoys me. Seriously. Especially if they have a secret, secret other motive, and then they just don't say it, but then try to, try to justify how to try justify putting the high and mighty shit on me, shit by saying, "Oh, this crap," and then I'm just like, "Damn!" No one tells me. That's the thing. 
Because, you know, if you just tell me a reason why, I'm, I'll listen. I'll take into consideration. But don't try to bullshit around the situation. It's annoying. It really is annoying when people do that. Because it's just, you're trying to act holier than thou, yet you're being a prick about it. Like, it's really hard. So, yeah. Yep. So, any idea what that was? Last time I saw, it was so Oh my god! Cal, what the fuck? He seems to be real suited to your fairy type Pokemon. Guess we'll have to catch him. Catch up. We'll have him catch up. Catch up the next time we see him. Anyway, I ran into some Team Black guys on the way here. Maybe I'll try my left and see if I can get any out. So I beat them in battle, and as they were trying to enter, one of them said something interesting. They mentioned something about a professor. What? Oh, shit! Okay, um, I had this little thought process in my brain, brain, and I always had, like, this whole thing. Okay, I, I, I want to make this straight, because... Keep a note, I bet the developers were trying to keep the secret, and I was going to make an executive theory guess, because Papa CD Brain, go cray cray, cray cray, and it, okay, and it always puts in crazy weird, this weird and odd situational show pieces that, you know, sir, which question, how does that fit, and I would just magic a piece again, because, you know, I have not watched any other Let's Play of this game, and I have not watched anything else, you know, and if I have, it's only to understand if I understand if I need to understand where I need to go if I'm lost, which hasn't happened so far. But, because I always like keeping everything spoiled free for me, but from what I have gathered and I what my brain remembers, because if anyone remembers like the second episode, so a Pokemon for Tempest, or I think it might be the first or second episode. When we went to go get our Pokemon from the Professor, and after the Professor realized the Pokemon were stolen, you remember how pissed off he was? I thought that that was weird, because they, even Thalia and Del said, it's weird that he did that, and he got pissed. Because they felt that that was an odd thing to happen. They've never seen him that angry before. And that made me question, why was the Professor angry? What? Call, I, it made, my brain went through some crazy pieces, but I thought, because frankly, I've never seen Pokemon Professor get that level of rage before. Rage before. So my brain thought, what if, and this is a crazy what if, what if he's in line with the evil team? Now I bet you guys are pulled like you're wondering, Conrad, have you been, have you finally started smoking cocaine, snorting cocaine? Cain, and if so, how much have you been snorting? Uh, none. This is just the way my brain works. Heck, even happened when I was watching Erase, and I saw the teacher, and I was just like, he was having a conversation with one of the students, and it's like early in the Erase, race, and I thought, that dude's the fucking killer. I literally knew from just looking at the guy. I instantly knew he was the killer. Isn't that funny that I figured that out? And uh, anyone who's watched the race will be like, Well, he ain't wrong. So, in this situation, here and now, they br she, she says something about a professor. And how many professors have we met so far, Pokemon professors have we met so far in our journey? Two, the one whose orphanage we were we were born, that we were raised in, and the one who asked us to do Zygarde cells. Now, I want you guys to ask a mental question to yourself. Which one is more likely? The one who raised us, and to us, and to Faye and Del is like a father figure? Or the random ass Pokemon, Pokemon professor that we just met somewhere off, off in the fucking region? Because, remember, when I went snooping around this place after we after he and everybody left, or rather, after everybody else left, 
except for Professor. I saw that in his diet net book, there was him and a young girl. Something must have happened to the Professor. So, something. I just don't know what. Now, developers, you're most likely going to say, God damn it, I didn't know we had Detective Conan and Connor Valone kicking Valone's brain kicking into high gear. Hey, this is the Valone brain. Don't explain for you. It just works. <laughs> Seriously, just that like that and my got my gotcha luck. It just works. We don't know how it works, it just works. Something like, I hope we give that asshole professor what he deserve. He dies. We only now are Ah Oh uh, normally this wouldn't mean much to us. But I think it's, think about it, the more it becomes important. It sounds like a business partner of, there's this thing about calling it quits. We could find him and get information on him. Wait, quits? Wait, why are we on a split? <laughs> he was okay with working number four, but... Do you know? I know one Miracle City, she never comes out of her house. Things, Professor, we know. You guys, start questioning. It could be them. Who knows? We know the professor since we were kids. It'd be really weird randomly asking, "Hey, are you working with Team Blight?" Look, I'm not trying to sound inconsiderate, but we really need more info. We could get closer to figuring out who it is who's behind all this. Otherwise, we're stuck chasing around, chasing Dell around the whole region. Right now, the only thing we can do is pray we stumble upon on where she is on accident. I know. I'm worried about Dory as well, but... Hey, Dory. Dory. Could be in a bigger home than we think. We need to get to the bottom of this fast. God damn it, this is the worst time for the car to be running off! It's gonna to be too long. I want to search this place. They hope the professor doesn't come back soon. <laughs> huh? Who are you? It's just... We wouldn't believe our professor would be doing something as underhanded as kidnapping children. They have to be talking about something else. Maybe, but I mean it wouldn't hurt to check, right? It's hard to believe that the person taking care of us all these years could possibly be a kidnapper. I don't I believe it. See, 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 see for all you know, here's the thing, you don't really know your guardians until you know. You know them as a kind, loving, kind of figure, but for all you know that could be they could be fucking fucking assassins. That's since they never told you. Murders, killers, psychopaths. <laughs> now, I'm not saying everybody's parents are like that. I'm not saying that. Please don't take that little But probably see me. You gotta almost know. How much do I really know about it? <laughs> now, this is about to see. Character see. Character Conrad, don't think that. He just knows that the professor's a good G. But, but How about this then? I'll try getting more info. I don't make you guys question them without evidence. I'll just make you guys seem paranoid. I hope that it is not professional. I just don't want to live in that kind of reality. Okay, it's okay. Trust me. If we're if we were able to find Professor Sir Team Blight was talking about, then you won't have to talk to your professor. Hey, do you? Momo, I don't have much to worry about. But use this as steel fairy type Pokemon. They have poison and dark. Oh. Uh. Before I go, I want to give you this thing I found. I think you'll, you make better use of it than I would. That is not gonna help me! <laughs> Enjoy, I guess. Maybe. Uh, not. Most people don't even really use it right now. I. Thank you! 
I think you should talk to Faye a bit more. She loves you with the whole professor thing. <sighs> I should. Faye. God damn it. Where is she? likely at the gym. Hey. No one really serious me about all this. Like that there's is even a sliver of a chance that Professor Hobby that with all this. I keep trying to dismiss it. What I think about the more the clues start adding up. Do you remember your life before the orphanage gone red? Uh... No. I was four when I moved to the orphanage. But I still remember my parents. The professor told me they had an accident. But the more I think about the professor, the more the thought of that accident being a lie comes up. Then I start questioning my whole child in my head. Those situations are just horrifying. Mm. Professor was lying to us the whole time. Why did he let us go on this adventure? The thing ends up, but I can't shake the thought of him actually doing something, doing something so wrong and twisted. Hurry, hello, Depressor. Because he's going to strong about the professor we know. I need to cool off. I'm going to go train somewhere. Oh, yeah, okay, trust me, Dory still needs our help. And I can't help her if I let my emotions control me. Good luck in your battle against Ace. Hey. You're not the only one worried. After all, one of the rules of being rules of being rules Connor of alone. Is that when he right he's right? You pray that you aren't. Thing is, if we're dealing with fire types, Rico, you're staying in the box. You're not gonna help us this much in this battle. And yet. Yoko is. Yes, dear viewer. Yoko is. To be wrong? Yeah. It'd be a bitch to be right after all. No one likes a right ass. Welcome to the Falugia City Gym. The fr for the fr this first battle, you're going to cho choose three of your, your three Pokemon from your team to use. Are you ready? Who cares? Uh, okay. Aria. Leafy and Mari. Oh wow! I actually like these types of battles. You know these restricted battles, like, oh wow. Okay. Well, if you're going to battle, you're gonna have to use only a specific number of Pokemon.
Well, for the ground. Don't forget tackle. Sorry for getting some bet. Okay, you can stop opening up now. No. Actually, yes. From what I think the EX3 share works, is that it actually visualizes the Pokemon seeing the Pokemon through the back of the Pokemon in the lead. Like, the Pokemon, you put it on the Pokemon's head, and from what I see, they're like, it's like a virtual simulation on the battle's going out. So, like, per se, uh, Swampert's in the battle, Mario's in the battle, at all. Leafy is technically in, is actually visualizing battle against his level 64 Rapidash through Mari's eyes, and is actually going through the same moves and motions that Mari is, but using its own moves to defeat the opponent. 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 God, what if there's incinerite? You fool. <laughs> you blew your load too quick. But no, imagine there was incinerite. That means incinerite is a mega evolution. But I have fucking popular. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> no, stop making me stop growing. I'm learning to grow. No, don't learn double edge. Stop learning double edge. And now Leafy is Ivysaur. Alright, looks like you ready for the next challenge. Good luck. Oh no. I gotta heal. I'm going back to heal. No, I don't want Ultra Balls. I just want... 
Ultra Potions. Four. What's my four? What's my two? Okay, I'm gonna end this episode here, guys. Guys. Because one, it is late, and two, I have. I just want to end the episode here, guys. So, uh, anyway, uh, next episode, we will go fight Ace's gym, and... <sighs> we'll continue on battling Ace's gym here, guys, but you know what, let's just... Part 2. First off, let me give you this. A key fragment. Right there is a key fragment. Once you collect all three, the key marker... Above will fix it for you. Are we ready to battle? Huh. Oh, I get it now. It's a battle sit battle all out. Don't worry. I have to repeat this guy, then we're done. In fact, excuse me. Sparkling Aria. It's a math, it's a sign, Project Nimrod. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, just picturing infinite possibilities, like I normally do. Till next time, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, share this with your friends, or tell your friends to know. Let's wrap for you just comments. Signing off. Bye.